Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read a poem, The Mons, unit number 2 from Oxford Reading Circle 5. Students, this is a poem written by Sarah Coleridge. Sarah Coleridge was a daughter of the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. She wrote many children's poetry which was published and popular in her lifetime. Her poem, The Mons, is a nice catalogue of the months of the year. This is a poem about the wonderful beauty of each month. There are wonderful change and we see them and we listen to the birds and other sounds of nature. Let's read the poem together. January brings the snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. February brings rain. Thaws the frozen lake again. March brings freezes loud and shrill. Stars the dancing daffodil. April brings the primrose sweet. Scatters daisies at our feet. May brings flocks of pretty lambs. Skipping by their fleecy dams. June brings tulips, lilies, roses. Fill the children's hand with pauses. Hot July brings cooling showers, apricot and gilly flowers. August brings the sheaves of corn, then the harvest home is born. Warm September brings the fruit, sportsmen then begin to shoot. Fresh October brings the pheasants. Then to gather nuts is pleasant. Dull November brings the blast. Then the leaves are whirling fast. Chill December brings the sleet, blazing fire and Christmas treat. Now come to the exercises. Questions 1. Which months are cold? Answer. January and December are cold. 2. How does the weather in the month of March feel like? Answer. Cool breeze blows in March. 3. How are the summer months different than the winter months according to the poet? Answer. According to the poet, the summer months are filled with flowers, fruits and cooling showers like June brings tulips, lilies, roses and fills the children's hands with pauses and July has a hot feather which brings cooling shores, apricots and gilly flowers whereas the winter months are dull with leaves falling down and chilling. December brings the sleet, blazing fire and Christmas treats. 4. Choose any three months that the poet seems to enjoy more than others. What do you like doing in those months? Answer. The poet seems to enjoy the months of April, May and June more than any other months. 5. Is there any month that the poet seems to dislike? Give reasons for your answer. Answer. The poet does not like November very much, so she uses adjective dull for the month. Reference to context. Read these lines from the poem and then answer the questions. Warm September brings the fruit. So sportsmen then begin to shoot. 1. What do you think is meant by the clause brings the fruit in the poem? Answer. The fruits are ripe and fit to eat by September. 2. What will the sportsman shoot? Answer. Sportsman here refers to someone who hunts or shoots wild animals as a pastime. So the sportsman will shoot birds or animals. Words and meanings. Match the following to make common expressions. As cold as ice. As hungry as a wolf. As innocent as a lamb. As solid as a rock as pure as snow. 2. Think of original similes of your own for the following and use them in sentences. As round as. The apple Mary brought was as round as a ball. As great as. 
I strive to be as great as Mother Teresa, as wicked as the shop owner was, as wicked as a wolf, as poor as the old lady was, as poor as a church mouse. Three. Notice the rhyming pairs in the poem. The following are the rhyming pairs: snow, glow, flow, corn, bone, ton, rain, again, pain, fruit, shoot, loot. shrill daffodil bill pheasant pleasant present sweet feet heat blast fast past lambs dams clams sleet treat beat shores gilly flowers bores a hey, which pair is the old one out roses posies b find another rhyming word to go with each pair roses closes poises poises thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like